Hi everyone, cue the exciting music. I am delighted on this episode to be talking with a longtime author, crafter in the world of spy fiction, uh, an author known for stories like Black Stiletto, as well as Metal Gear Solid, and uh, a little known character named James Bond as well. And that person is Raymond Benson. Raymond, thank you for jumping on and joining for a second talk. Well, thanks, Jason, for having me on again. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. I saw that in about a week from our recording date, there's going to be a book that I believe collects all six of your Bond adventures, and that is James Bond, the Raymond Benson year. So you are you have a titular relationship to this character. I know. And that I mean, as soon as I saw the cover, you know, it had James Bond, it had my name, and it also had Ian Fleming's name on it. Yeah. All yeah. on the same cover, you know, <laughs> and I'm going, holy cow, you know, <laughs> that's just, that's just amazing, you know, but it is an ebook that, you know, I want to make that clear. It's just an ebook. So, well, yes, yes. But we, we yeah. could print it out if we wanted to as well. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> yeah. No, um, um, we could figure out a way, I'm sure. Uh, so, so what is it like to sort of have this latest look at your work? in the world of 007 out in the world now? Well, it's like a return, you know? I mean, this was 25, 28 years ago, you know, when this all started. And um, my, you know, my period of bond work was in the late 1990s and early 2000s. And after that, it was like, you know, they went on to other authors, which, you know, that's what they do and that's fine. Um, and I went on to do my own stuff and, and other things. And then suddenly I'm, you know, like Al Pacino says, I tried to get out, but they pulled me back in. That's right. <laughs> <You> that's <know>? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, last year was the 70th anniversary of Casino Royale by Ian Fleming. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Ian Fleming Publications decided to, you know, reprint some of the earlier books. And so they reprinted Colonel Sun by Kingsley Amos, and they printed James Bond, The Authorized Biography by John Pearson, and they reprinted Zero Minus Ten by me, which was mm -hmm. my first book. And these all came out last fall, and in October, there was a big event in London, uh, actually at Pinewood Studios outside of London, uh, where they make the movies. And uh, there was a big celebration and a uh, big event where fans came and a lot of the authors who were able to come, a lot of the Bond authors uh, were there, like Charlie Hickson and, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, some of the biographers, uh, Kim Sherwood, the new new author of the of the Double O series, uh, Steve Cole, um, um, uh, Andrew Lysett and Nicholas Shakespeare, um, um, and, you know, some other people uh, were there. Uh, it was it was a incredible event and it just felt so good to be kind of back you know yeah. and you know celebrating it all again yeah well you're you're part of this literary landscape now you're part of this lineup of authors and creators that have had the chance to take on this character and uh certainly something that is never going away at this point i don't think so i mean you know i think bond is like the sherlock holmes of the latter half of the 20th century and beyond so you know um i don't know is is bond now more well known than sherlock holmes i'm not sure but uh they're see, certainly probably on equal footing maybe yeah. yeah some notoriety for sure yeah yeah now, as you look back on these six novels, I know it's been a minute. I think uh, your first one came out in, was it 1996? Is that right? 97. Yeah, 97. It was the, same, okay. the same year that Hong Kong was handed back to China. And that's that's when Zero Minus Ten takes place. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. During that uh, whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And so I made a, made a thriller out of it. Um, yeah, so between 97 and 2002. Yeah. Um, is there a particular moment, a particular memory or an experience working on one of those books that just continues to resonate? Well, you know, just getting the gig in the first place was such a a mind boggler. Um, you know, it was, it was not anything that I campaigned for or even asked for or, or didn't even think I, sh I could want. 
uh, it was just, you know, I got a call one day and said, how would you like to give this a shot? You know, yeah. so it was, it was actually, you know, I kind of handed to me <laughs> uh, without me even asking. Uh, so it was, you know, I mean, I did had to do a little sort of audition for it, but um, uh, getting that gig was just, it changed my life. It really did. And um, so that was, that was a big moment, but there were, there were, I mean, the whole seven years that I was doing it was a roller coaster. It really was. I was busy the whole time and I traveled to all the locations or most all of the locations that I wrote about. Right. So, you know, the, the research trips were amazing and they were hard work, but um, I got to saw places I never thought I would go to, you know, in my life, <laughs> you know, gee, I think I'll go to Corsica. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> who thinks of that, you know? Right. Uh, um, and uh, so, you know, all those trips are, and, and, you know, and I met a lot of incredible people around the world. I met a lot of incredible people in, you know, associated with James Bond. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were, they're, they're, they were experiences that I can't, you know, replicate ever again. And so, yeah, that was, it was quite an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, shortly after your tenure, the world of James Bond was sort of shaken up when Daniel Craig took over and they, they sort of revamped the, the cinematic universe. And as you mentioned, Kim Sherwood now is uh, writing a really interesting series. It's a really interesting series. I checked out the first book last year. So I'm curious uh, as someone who has been steeped in the lore and spent time with this character, where do you think the character, <clears throat> excuse me, the character's headed from here? Well, you know, you got to separate the literary bond with the cinematic bond, you know, mm -hmm. the different entities of ownership and I think two different, you know, characters really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the literary bond is is not quite like the movie bond, you know. Uh there are some differences. Um I although I think Daniel Craig did do a good job trying to convey Fleming's bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, as far as the, I, I really don't know. I mean, nobody tells me anything. <laughs> uh, so um, as far as the literary, I think it's kind of clear what they're doing. They at least, you know, announced at the beginning of the year, they just had a big email blast, you know, a social media blast saying what they're planning for 2024. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Kim Sherwood's new book is coming out. They've got some, uh, uh, reprints of the Flemings. They've got, uh, uh, you know, my omnibus coming out. Mm -hmm. um, so they've, they've got plans and stuff. Now, as far as the films are concerned, I have no idea. Nobody has a clue <laughs> what they're going to do. Um, it's a mystery box. It is a mystery. And, you know, um, considering how the last movie ended, you know, I think they've got a challenge on how they're going to um, reinvent let's say, uh, I guess that's the word we should use, um, yes. reboot or whatever, um, the film series. So I, it's not a, I can't speculate what they're going to do. I have no idea. So, um, <laughs> I, I hesitate to even guess. So. <laughs> we, we will all see. I am sure we will all yeah. see. Yeah. Um, well, I would be remiss as we're closing out if I didn't give you the chance to also mention you, you've written a wide range of books. So anything on the create, creative horizon, uh, the creative agenda that you'd like to mention before we close out? Well, my my last book, uh, original you know Raymond Benson novel, was The Mad, Mad Murders of Marigold Way. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. came out in the fall of 2022, and it, it has won some awards and things and uh i'm really proud of it it's uh it's kind of a dark comedy that takes place right at the beginning of covid uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's a comedy uh and one, uh, one has to laugh right one yeah i know <laughs> and uh, you know it's a murder man you know i kind of liken it to a coen brothers kind of movie you know i mean yeah. it has this dark humor going through it and uh uh so you know i'm still still pushing that and I've been writing some stuff. I've been doing ghost writing and, uh, you know, stuff to pay the bills. And um, 
that's just what I've been doing, you know, and working on the bot stuff, you know, uh, as far as, you know, revisiting some of that stuff, like when zero minus 10 come out, I had to go back and, you know, proofread it, proofread it and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, same way with this new omnibus. My gosh, I'm looking at my books that I wrote, you know, 28 years ago, <laughs> 25 yeah. years ago and going, oh, wow, did I write this? <laughs> <laughs> How how did I know how to climb, you know, uh, a a mountain in in the Himalayas, you know, in high time to go? Uh, How did I do that? I I I did the research, you know, I really did it, and I that was so long ago. Uh, It it's like it boggles my mind. It really does. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, glad to see that the work is still circulating. Glad to see that the omnibus is uh, soon to be out in the world and. I'm always on the lookout for new adventures from you in fiction as well. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That omnibus comes out on the 26th on, uh, as an ebook. So I uh, hope people will grab it. You know, it's mm-hmm. good to carry around. I like, you know, I like print books just mm-hmm. like everybody, but I also like, I, I have a Kindle and when I travel, it's great to have books on your Kindle, you know, and having, you know, the six Raymond Benson Bond books on a Kindle is sounds like a good idea for me. <laughs> Absolutely. They, they uh, weigh the same as one at this point uh, exactly. with the Kindle. So, yeah, exactly. I, I like the convenience. It's a good price, too. You know, so you can get them pretty cheap that way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Raymond, thank you so much for the time. Thank you oh, for the, you. the second visit. Did we miss anything that you want to make sure to mention before we close no, out on this special can... 007 edition? Yeah, not that I can think of. So, but I appreciate you asking me to come back on. Absolutely. Anytime, anytime. Thank you so much.